This is the Star Trek cockpit game and uh, it's an awesome piece of 80s fashion style thing. It's got some great side art, it's a Sega game, it's got the Starship Enterprise there, it's got a control knob on the left hand side, it's got this amazing chair that Mr Spock or Captain Kirk would have been happy to sit in and it's got some buttons on the right hand side and inside it's got uh, a vector screen, colour vector screen and uh, various bits and pieces, there are some instructions at the top there and we need to get a real wide angle shot of this from somewhere just to get it in all its beauty look at that fantastic piece of plastic in fact and to test out this game we have a gentleman who's saved the world on many an occasion Mr Tony Temple himself is going to go where no man has gone before and sit into the cockpit and try out the game he's never played it before it's got the authentic Star Trek sounds as well it has speech as well oh. it's got some nice in the back of the seat speakers Okay. Oh, I think you've completed the first level. That's cool. Well, so it looks see. like you kind of scroll left and right. It's like a defender style map here. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of scroll left and right, and then with a spinner, and then use the various buttons to do so. Sector cleared, star base bonus. You can actually get a view from behind as well through this window, this smoke glass window. Collision, simulation complete. Do you get any kind of? That's it. Oh, that's game go. over. How did you do? Not, not so well. Not so well. I, my tip would be don't collide with the other ships. It's <laughs> my learn from that. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was an interesting experience. It's actually quite nice. I think I could actually get into it. It's quite a nice control system. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. And as befits a record-breaking gamer, after one go, he's already mastered the controls and he's getting a nice score of 42,000 and more. improvement on the first game 58,000 so next we're going to take a look at Canyon Bomber which is a, an early Atari black and white game and um, nice cabinet I love these early black and white Atari cabinets everyone is a different shape different artwork this one's in really good condition can't really see down the sides too well but there is some side art on there and uh, Let's take a look at the control panel. As you can see, there's basically just one button each, which is great. It means we can, we're going to play the game together, and I can play it while I'm filming it. And uh, we've also got these great looking sort of dial shaped token entry things. Let's put a token in now. You see that it goes in the back there and drops in. So uh, let's put another token in. 
And let's get on with the game. So basically all you have to do in the game is drop as many missiles as possible onto the stuff below. And if you miss three times then basically it's game over. As you can see there's numbers on the little blobs that you're bombing and they get added to your score. <coughs> I'm not sure why the biplanes, oh sorry, the airships go up and down the screen, um, but they do. Pretty simple stuff, just the one button as I mentioned. Sometimes the airship turns round and sometimes it just goes off one, screen, one side of the screen and comes on the other. Oh, that's going to be a miss. Oh no, just got one. And then suddenly you change to a biplane, just to make things even more confusing. So it goes on. White player seems to have out. And I think I'm going to get too low in a minute and crash. No, it doesn't really seem to matter. It's not the most interesting of games, to be honest. But it is a very cool cabinet. Probably not something people have seen very often. It's got some wicked screen burn on it. And that's game over. This is Stalker by Sente. Uh, and I knew nothing about this game until I came to Fun Spot three years ago and it was in the tournament. And I really enjoyed playing it. And it's uh, not a particularly spectacular cabinet, it's just got a stripe down the side. And uh, the graphics and everything aren't exceptional. What's interesting really is the controls. Uh, it is a driving game of sorts, like an overhead view driving game like maybe uh, Micro Machines or something like that if you're talking about console games. So you've got a steering wheel, there's the actual game itself in action, uh, and you've got a high and low gear. Uh, and that's it. Uh, there's no accelerator, no brake or anything like that. So basically once the game stops, the car never stops moving, uh, which we'll see in a moment of course. do is drive around this course and it never stops. There's no accelerator or anything. What are you? And the, the, uh, oh, the orange car being chased by all the police. I think it's kind of based on smoking the bandit or ticketed. They try not to crash into any more police cars.
at the end you get like given a bonus based on how many tickets you got, but I got no bonus because I got three tickets. So that was my final score.